good kitten internet. Apparently I did not fix the stuttering like I thought I did, so this is my second recording of this. Um, where we last left off, unfortunately you don't get to see the cat in my lap because I totally had a kitty in my lap. And showed it off. feel so sad about that. Anyway, um, where we last left off, I had said I was going to do a lot of selling and potentially leveling up. I did not level up. I did sell a lot of things, enchanting stuff, selling more stuff and healed up, cast most of my spells. I totally forgot to cast recast Fly, but I have everything else. And I just wanted to show you one of the items that I ended up receiving, which is this. This is a Master Cutlet of Darkness. The of Darkness enchantment is, in my mind, the best enchantment in the game for a weapon. And the Master Cutlass is the best sword-type weapon in the game. So, I did actually receive some really nice loot, but I'm not using swords this game. Also, I already have a an Axe of Darkness, so not much of a reason to go with the Sword of Darkness. Alright, um, let's go over our quests. They haven't changed at all. Um, and to be honest, I'm probably not going to end up doing any of them. There's a chance I may end up doing Memory Crystal Epsilon. So, Altar of the Moon, Temple of the Moon, Midnight of a Full Moon. We need one more day before we can train. That's the reason why I decided not to train. Uh, yeah, one more day before we can train up, and that full week will be enough for us to hit the full moon. Um, we have the four memory crystals. We have the Book of Liches in Castle Darkmoor, which we're going to have to go there anyway, so that will be a bit later. And the statuettes. <coughs> so... I think what I'm going to end up doing, Beacon Recall, Kriegspire. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that there wasn't anything I needed. Oh, um, something I should point out. This is what they mean by they've turned off one of the Dragon Towers. It That's supposed, or that's supposed to be the Dragon Tower in this region. And if you go over to it, you'll notice that there's no switch. So somehow, by disabling the Dragon Tower attacking Kriegspire, they have, um, oops, wrong one. Um, they have somehow disabled the switch. Eh, plot reasons. Anyway, so there's actually two entrances in the Castle Kriegspire. I'm going to do the quick way first, just to show you what it ends up looking like, and then I'll probably reload and come back doing something else. You feel strange. So it spawns a bunch of minotaurs and you're teleported in the middle of the dungeon. I seem to remember... Uh, no, it is that way, isn't it? Uh, I should have looked this up ahead of time, my apologies. great spot for sparks, wouldn't it? Huh? I did not double tap that. Oh, I still have enchant item equipped. Let us switch that to fire blast. remember now it's been too long since I've been into this place but there's basically a really quick and easy way for you to get at your objective I thought it was over here but now I'm starting to think it was somewhere else oh hi you just fell through the floor good job game I'll deal with this later. I don't really feel... Oh, I don't need to reload. I can just beacon back. 
I did kill some things after all. Might as well. Beacon, recall, creek spire. Okay. So there's a shortcut through there, and I'll probably look it up before the next video, where you can basically just run in and run out with the crystal that you need in about 35 seconds. It's the speed run method of doing it, and why is there one square of a different color? Oh, I'm not moving the mouse. Everything is moving. There are clouds in this game, and they actually tried to replicate them. That's nice of them. So we're going to do the drakes at this point. I mentioned that last time, and we didn't end up doing it because Cave of the Dragon Riders took a bit longer than I was expecting. Or Caves of the Dragon Riders. My apologies. Let's see if I can get right on the edge of the drakes. So I can show you how scary this thing is. First off, let's go all the way to the ground. We do not want to be up high in this case. We want to be barely off the ground, if anything. So all the way up here is the obelisk. Obelisk is great. Where is the drakes? There's the drakes. That was a very large number of drakes all in one spot. So what's been happening is that each time we end up hitting that well that gives us plus something to our levels, drakes spawn. So as a result, there's a very, very large number of monsters there. And it is glorious to fight because they are worth so much experience points and so much money. So that's what we're doing. Also, we need to get this obelisk anyway. So. This is where we're going to do some science. Are you ready for science? So, in the game, um, I refer to Meteor Swarm and Starburst as the ICBM spells. Um, the Intercontinental Ballistic Magic, as one of you pointed out, which is awesome. Um, <coughs> the reason why I refer to them as that is that in depending on your computer and patch version, you can actually hit further away with those spells than they can hit you. So somebody mentioned in a previous video about the computer cheating because they can hit you before you can hit them. That's actually a glitch. Um, you can actually do it the other way around depending on your computer and patches and so on. <clears throat> what I don't know is if that still applies. Okay. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, although I wasn't moused over, that's part of the problem. So if I'm too far away, you'll notice that it just kind of spawns in front of me instead of anywhere useful. Oh, still in front of me. Still directly in front of me. I'm going to end up reloading so I can not waste all of this magic. Well, I'm definitely in range now. Ah, so they can hit me and I can't hit them. So that must be the alternative that they ended up doing. Anyway, we're going to do this the right way this time. Which is about here. Move up, move back down. Nope. Let's reload <clears throat> and not mess up my initial chance. Hmm. My throat's a little scratchy this morning because I haven't been drinking enough water. One moment. Didn't want to cough directly into the mic. Okay, so let's walk up about here. I've already broken something. Why'd you break? That ring? No. There we go. So as long as I stay on the ground, Meteor Swarm works really well. They're out of range. Good to know. Okay. So you notice how easily I'm taking these on. So each of these dragon spots spawn a new dragon each time I hit that well. So I must have hit the well, it looks like about a half dozen to a dozen times. I'm just dodging the attacks because I don't feel like getting hit. 
Usually it takes about two meteor swarms to get at them. Shared um, life. It's a lot easier to dodge them when you're not using the uh, mouse look mode because then you can just hit page up and then home drops you to the ground. And the closer I am, the harder it's going to be for me to dodge them. So this is what's referred to as doing the drakes. The reason why we want to stay on the ground is so Meteor Swarm is actually effective. If we were up high, it wouldn't be anywhere near as effective. And yes, I know there's a bunch of Minotaurs to my right. I honestly don't care about them by comparison. Because, uh, actually there is a Minotaur King here. I do kind of care about that one. Bunch of things broken, as usual. definitely want the one that gives you a bonus of dark magic. That's kind of important. Okay, got those. Got them all. Almost feels like cheating, except I'm actually using the rules of the game to do this. And yes, I know there's a miniature right next to me. Okay, now that I'm done with those, I can deal with these more appropriately. Weird. Why did he not go? Is he paralyzed or something? No. Hmm. That's weird. Yeah. There we go. And now we just have that swarm of Minotaurus. correctly. And you have 35 hit points. You have 333. You have 114. Okay. And I've got a swarm of minotaurs right under my feet. So let's move out. See what I've got. Ah, this is much better. There we go. Now we're in green. That is the only miniature remaining. It has one hit point. Yeah. And done. We have now done the drakes. Um, the game will actually start throwing errors if you let the drakes sit around for too long. They'll basically try to spawn things here and fail to spawn. It's actually pretty interesting because that means that there's a maximum enemy limit and this is the only zone in the game that can actually hit that. All right, longbow. I think these are random junk. Okay, mail, belt, amulet. If 
I was smart, I would have fired the merchant. Right. It's actually halfway decent. That's enchant bait. That's um, cell bait. Enchant bait. Got better. I'm pretty sure I have better. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, drakes don't really give you much in the way of good things. They can. It's just, it's random junk. Book of Learning. I already have enough of those. Another fire blast, really? Anyway, I'm just cleaning up. Tra la 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 la. This is also one of the few areas in the game of practically unlimited experience points. You could, I could just rest right now, then re-drink from the wells and start raiding drakes again. Okay, that's enchantable. And that was the only thing you picked up. Already enchanted, enchantable. Shield of the gods, enchantable. Helm of I've Got Better, Enchantable, Enchantable, that's actually not that bad, Enchant Bait, Cell Bait, hmm, and yours is the one that, you have the crappiest cloak at this point, you already have regen hit points from somewhere, don't you? I thought, maybe you're the one that doesn't? Yeah, you don't. I'll take that. There we go. Alright, uh, and I've scanned the rest of these. The rest of this is sulfate. Let's switch back over to enchant item and start enchanting. Also, there's a chest over here. Cell bait, money. Nice. I think that's enchantable. Uh -huh. That is definitely enchantable. Actually, I don't remember if steel boots are or not. That's right on that edge. Nope. Okay. I can do. Not a big deal. As good as new. Right, I already enchanted that. Not what I wanted to do, but that's okay. <laughs> My fingers slipped and I hit cast instead of pass. I know, it's lots of fun watching me loot and enchant things. My apologies. I think the belt and ring are the ones I'm more likely to actually want. That bow's eh. Cell bait. Um, you can fit this. You just have to be more creative in inventory management. Definitely can't fit that. Intellect 10. How am I doing on belts? So your belt's the one I'm going to swap. Actually, does this even make a difference in any stat that matters? No. I'll keep the endurance then. Um... Ring, spell point six, I've got better everywhere. That's cell bait. Cell bait. Yeah, you're not fitting that anywhere. So we are done with Kriegspire at this point. Uh, there's a couple of dark spots. I'm just going to hit them really fast so I don't miss anything. But for instance, this pedestal right here. Okay. So the only pedestal I have left is in Sweetwater, I believe, which I think I'm actually going to go do that now. Just scanning for things. 
since there was somewhere else that I hadn't hit on the top. Mostly making sure that there's no treasure chests. That's the one I already got. I don't believe there are, and I'm pretty sure I've completely wiped the map of enemies. Ah, how are you today? Hopefully I'm not speaking too quietly. It's a bit early in the morning, so I didn't want to wake up my housemate by accident. All right, we've cleared everything. Let's, I don't want to walk to Sweetwater right now because that's going to take five days and that will interrupt my full moon bit, so. days would put me at the 11th. I would have four more days to have to fiddle around before the full moon. Uh, kind of want to finish some things. This would be a lot easier if it was three more days instead of four more days. Maybe I should actually go hire somebody. Well, first off, let's go sell this stuff before I forget again. Always sell here first because they have the crappiest hours. All right, this is also for sale. stiff and then sell some armor there we go Look at recasting spells. I might as well actually recast them because I'm going to, um, what do we call it? Uh, heal anyway. Now what do I do? So I can't really go after any of my quests without, well, starting something a lot larger, which I may end up needing to do. You know, let's see if we can boost this just right. I want somebody who can do overland travel, not water. Couldn't remember if navigator was overland travel or everything, or water or everything. Banker, healer, quartermaster, miller. Honestly, we don't need more money. We've got 1.2 million. I'm fine. Windmaster, chimney sweep. None of those are useful for me right now. Clerk, gate master, armor, healer. A lot of healers. Expert healer. I mean, healers are actually really good. Well, of course they are. It's me. I personally believe that healers are the best class in every game. Pathfinder, that's one of the ones I was looking for. How are you? Uh, let's see, you are map crossings three days faster. That I think will work. How are you? So let's dismiss the merchant. How are you? Hire you. Leads Beacon to Kriegspire. And let's start flying. sure I already hit this chest, but I'm going to double check it. Yep. Okay, so we are going to go to the final zone of the game, which is Sweetwater, where the game all started. That crappy FMV where everybody's constantly swinging their arms around for no reason. Yeah, that's where we're going. Two days to Sweetwater. 
just curious on something. I'm going to test this out. Right, I don't actually have any spells up. Set. Time portal, new circle. Let's cast our daily spells. It is noon on the 8th. Yeah, this is actually perfect timing. No, it isn't. I would get 16 days for rest now, wouldn't I? Or for training. Let's double check that. I have my autosave, so I can always just reload. Or not autosave, quick save. In fact, let's add another quick save. Town portal. Um. Actually, Lloyd's Beacon, Recall, Castle Iron Fist. I know this training facility is high enough level. This is the second highest in the game. And we are at full moon. So 16th would actually work. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to load quick save two. I'm going to save this as an actual save. And then we are going, there's a chance that the moment I hit midnight, it'll decide it's no longer a, um, whatchamacallit, uh, full moon. So we're going to do this and we're going to hit the statuette and obelisk in Sweetwater actually finishing a quest. I know this is sacrilege for me. Uh, recall Kriegspire. Okay. I forgot to do that before. Um, it's the only one of mine that I'm actually caring about. So let's go back to New Serpical. Recast Fly. Cast Hour of Power. I may end up not even needing this. And. Lloyd's Beacon, Recall, Sweetwater. Sweetwater is a scary place, by the way. Everything is dead here. And also, we have some very nasty enemies to keep in mind. We're going to be setting a beacon down here. Um, we actually no longer ever need to go to Bootleg Bay again, so I will be wiping the beacon for that. We're going to be setting it over here. And there's a good reason for this, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Plus 50 to everything is a very nice bonus, because that's on top of Day of the Gods. Um... Set. We will wipe out Bootleg Bay. Yeah. Technically, we don't really need Castle Iron Fist anymore either, but... Alright, now where in the world was that statuette? I'm trying to remember, because I... My memory of Sweetwater is pretty weak, because there's not really much here, to be honest. A lot of barren wasteland. There are enemies here, by the way. I'm just apparently avoiding all of them. And I'm... Yep, there they are. See? Devils. So, Devil Captains can cast Meteor Swarm on you. They are the only type of creature in the game that can do the ICBM... Sh or Devil Kings. Is it Captains and Kings or just Captains? I don't remember which now. But only enemy in the game that can do the ICBM strategy back on you. Which is why I'm pretty much always flying. Yep, that one's just poison and dealing crap tons of damage. There's an inn! Quick, let's go to the inn and... Oh, there's nothing here. Yeah, this place is scary. But there's some hidden things off the side of the map, if I remember correctly. 
probably should have looked up exactly where I needed to go for the statuette. It was sweet water, right? Yeah, let's actually cure that damn poison. <laughs> Yep, you can see the meteor swarm up in the top corner. They love spamming that spell. I think the statue hut was somewhere in the barren wastes. Or maybe it was actually in the town of Sweetwater, which that's what this is. Nope. Uh, actually, I think it's over here. I mean, here's a treasure chest. I assume... Telekinesis. Money. That's enchant bait. That's cell bait. Cell bait. Enchant bait. I want to say it was by a lake. Here's the obelisk. Maybe this is the one I was thinking of. Um, I think I only have one or two obelisks left. I should check that really fast. Let me enter turn base mode and a look at my notes. Obelisk. Obelisk. Uh, okay, missing three, six, and seven. Six and seven. I'm missing dragon sand? I could have swore I got the obelisk for dragon sand. Um, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so it's the other way around. So three is Hermit's Isle. That makes sense. Six is Dragon Sand, seven is Frozen Highlands? I thought I already got that. Maybe it was some time where I had to reload. Anyway, I'm going to just quickly look up where the statuette is because I don't want this to take forever. Uh, do, 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 do. Where are they at? Sweet water pedestal is there. Three. Oh, it's to the north of the town, not to the south of the town. That's what I screwed up. All right, let's go back and um, let's go ahead and shared life. Even though that's losing a lot of life on my knight, unfortunately. One downside with having a knight in the party and using shared life. There it is. All right, that's all we need here. They actually covered a good swath of the land. Let's Lloyd's Beacon, Recall. Uh, no, that's right, it's Town Portal, Blackshire. Let's go finish that quest. So remember this old man? Pleased to meet you. He's quite a bit younger now, isn't he? Good work. I have my youth again, thanks to you. Have you ever thought about assisting me full time? I could certainly use the reliable help. I've managed to collect a variety of trinkets over the years, so please help yourself to a few of these in the chest outside as payment for your services. I need to clean up a few things here, but I think I'll head back to Castle Iron Chest and see if there's an opening for a court magician. Money. There's supposed to be more than money there. There's supposed to be trinkets. <sighs> oh well. Okay, so we've got that. Um, let's go ahead and level up now. Let's see, how far can I level? I can level to 60. 60 maximum, I want to say that's free haven, but let's find out. Uh, yep, that is correct, it's free haven. Why I remember this, I have no idea, by the way. And everybody is fully leveled up. I've got 130 plus skill points. My reputation's 1500. Why did my reputation drop? Hold on a moment. 
let me double check some things. Because I thought I was in the 2700 range and I haven't killed anybody. Fifteen hundred. Does doing the Drakes count as a reputation loss? I haven't done anything that should have counted. Uh, into the last episode. Let's check. Fifteen hundred. And in the previous episode, twenty-three hundred. What in the world dropped my reputation? It dropped by eight hundred. Between all I did was Cave of the Dragon Riders and everybody's uh, enemy to me there. What the heck? I mean, I'm still saintly, so it doesn't really matter. I just wanted to run up the clock on reputation. I am so confused. Hmm. Anyway, let's go back and level up again. All right. I'll have to experiment later to figure out what the reason for losing all of my reputation was. This doesn't make sense to me. So you'll notice that we spent about 200,000 money on, well, leveling up. There we go, and that should be all the spells that we care about. I'm just going here because it's convenient. Okay, so, uh, it was at midnight, wasn't it? Oops. Midnight, yeah. So I still have time I need to kill. It's only 9.15. Uh, hmm. Guess we're going to Dragon Sand. So let's see, white cap is seven. Where did I miss the statuette and, or not statuette, obelisk and white cap. Obelisk was back there or there. I don't remember which spot now. Do, 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 do. Double speed, Wee zoom. Okay, that was one. And other one, I'm going to have to access my new serpical. Hello, Dargons. We're actually high enough level where I can start taking on the Dargons. I'm not going to right now, but we could. Okay, where was the obelisk in Dragon Sand? I'm trying to remember. You're all ground dragons. You're actually easy for me to take on. Okay, so it's not in the lower islands, it looks like. Maybe I'll just occupy my time starting to kill some of the dragons. There's the statuette. I want to say the obelisk was around on this side somewhere. My memory's kind of faulty on this. I'm just going to go explore everything first. Don't want to accidentally get hit. I'm primarily using the minimap for reference. Oh, it's over here. I remember now. Yep. Right. Mine telekinesis. Are you kidding me? Is it the angle? Hmm. 
I know I've hit that via telekinesis before. Okay. I mean, I can take the hits at this point. They're, since I have Day of Protection up, which Day of Protection's giving me some fairly nice bonuses to resistances, I can sort of take hits now. Just don't want to. Okay, Cover Dragons are the ones that are going to be a lot harder for me to hit. And I need to waste some time anyway. So why don't we start going after some worms and lizards? I still have, yep. And you need to switch to meteor shower as well. See, it's not too hard for us to take these on now. Honestly, I don't even need to waste Meteor Shower on one worm. We already know that because I've been doing that indoors for a while now. Plate Armor. Ring. Helm. Champ 8. And Champ 8. Money. Because I need more money, apparently. Come to think of it, I should be doing this before the level up and not after. Shouldn't I? Because I'm going to level up from this, most likely. Hmm. Also, I should probably actually level up. <laughs> that would have helped. Might be a little close quarters. No. Yeah. I think somebody lost, um, okay. whatchamacallit, uh, something broke, didn't it? Yep. I really wish I could help. As good as new. There we go. Lizards, Batman. All right, so we are level 60. Oh, I haven't actually drunk from the drakes from the save, did I? Because I leveled up and didn't do anything else. I should actually be more like level 90. Let's go ahead and beacon back to Creek Spire. Okay, <clears throat> then let's town portal back to New Serpical. Time is 11.24 a.m. Should have recast Hour of Power. Wasting a little bit of money is not that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and sell the couple of things that I have. Oh, I can fire you at this point. Do I want to fire you or do I want to walk over to the other place first? Eh, I'll pick up another Pathfinder if I need it. Let's go ahead and find ourselves a new NPC. Scholar is the one I already have, right? Yeah. Two of the same NPC do not stack, but two nearly identical NPCs do. Potter, Potter, Armor. Pirate, Fool, Tailor, Scholar again. Now I find all the Scholars after I don't need them. Let's see how it works. Squire, I'm looking for one that gives me experience, basically. Or a healer. I can probably use a healer, to be honest. Watermaster. Missionary, trader. I already looked at the pirate. And then over here, trapper. Nope. Let's try that again. Missionary, 
Pathfinder, Tracker, Factor, Clerk, about to sneeze. Sorry about that. Arms Master, not a terrible idea. Apprentice is actually a decent idea. Piper, Quartermaster. Hello. So Apprentice is two point bonus on spell skills. I'm looking for the one that's four point, I wanna say. Scribe, Watermaster, Negotiator, Tracker, Beggar. Beggar, Psychic, Follower of Ba, Gypsy. I'm going to find the right one. Although, to be honest, I can probably just pop over back to Dragon Sand and pick up exactly who I want. Hello. Alchemist, you are. Oh, you are just repair a named item. Mystic, you're the four point bonus? Three point bonus. I think I might be taking the Mystic. Okay, Mystic is out. Oof, that could have been bad. Mystic is out there. I'll see if I can find somebody else I want instead. No bowls are worthless. One master. Nice, but, well, my fly is better. Healer. Acolyte. Smith. Serve. Laborer. Duper. Armor. Apprentice. Tinker. Tinker. Factor. Acolyte. I already looked at that one. Fool. Factor. Acolyte. Okay, yep. I'm going to go for the Mystic. So, something I've wanted to know. Uh, that's going to be the easiest way for me to test it, isn't it? Because you don't have... Your bonus is fire and just fire. Your bonus is more than just fire. You've got fire and dark. Dark will work. Okay. So we're going to be spending more money now. All right, so let's recast Day of Protection, and that is for two days, five hours. Two days, five hours is 29, is it, how is this one mark? Four times skill. So two days, five hours is 29. Ugh. This doesn't make much sense. So that's 29 um, hours worth. Wizard Eye is being cast for one day, one hour. So that's 25 hours. These numbers don't make sense. So this is... Or maybe it's actually meant to be 24 hours. But if it's four times skill, I should be a lot longer than that. Hmm. Four times skill. So Wizard Eye lasts one hour per point of skill. His skill in dark magic is 12, so that should last 48 hours on its own. It's only lasting 24. There's something wrong with the spell. Okay, I don't think I ever noticed that. Interesting. Well, other thing I can do is take a look at the resistance increase. Yeah, that's a resistance increase of 84. 84 times, uh, divided by 4 is 21. Effectively, I have 21 points 
of dark magic skill. So what I'm trying to do is figure out where the um, mystic comes in, whether it's before or after the plus 50% of things. So if it was before, uh, yeah, I would have 15 ranks now. 50% of 15 is plus 7, because it's rounded down, it would be 22. If it's after, it would be 18 plus 1, which is 21. Okay, so it's after. It's still nice. That's before I've spent any skill points. Speaking of, let's spend some skill points. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and quick save here. So, what do I want to do with my skill points? Well, let's start with the easier one. Because I'm just going to be throwing things into Axe for the rest of the game. Um, so, frame of reference, the number of skill points they throw into learning makes it not worth it to go beyond learning 7. And the reason for that is that you're putting more skill points in than you're going to receive in the increased levels. So, there's no reason for me to go beyond learning 7. No reason for me to go beyond Perception 7. No reason for me to go beyond body build, or Repair Item 7 or Merchant 10. Really, there probably wasn't much of a reason for me to go to Merchant 7, beyond Merchant 7. Um, Plate Master 4 is maximum. Shield 10, I got a lot of AC. I'm not going to bother throwing anything more in. So really, it's just these two skills at this point that I care about. Or I can throw in bodybuilding for even more hit points, but I don't need more. So here's what I'm going to do. There we go. All right, you, you, uh, meditation, there's good reasons for going up in meditation. Uh, you're already master there. I could actually get you your expert in mastery and bow, finally. But really, let's be honest here, you're casting body magic and dark magic for the rest of the game. Um, I've got lots of things to increase on you, so I'm going to ignore... You did have Bodybuilding Master, yeah. I'm going to probably ignore these. Expert's decent, I guess. I do want to get Air Magic up a bit higher, because Air Magic is one of my primary spell areas, but I'm also casting a lot more Fire Magic than normal. So I think I'm going to focus on those three. Like that. Now you, you're just kind of behind on everything at this point, aren't you? Um, fire, water, you're the secondary dark magic, so I'm less concerned about getting this up. I'll get it up to 12, but that's probably about it. Um, dagger and bow, I could increase now. Uh, I've been casting more fire magic, so I'm gonna just stripe between these three. And yeah, let's get bow up to eight and dagger up to eight. That'll work. Okay, they're all leveled up. I have been recording for right about an hour, so let's um, recast a protection again to see our new bonuses of lots. <laughs> uh, so that is plus 123. Yeah, plus 123. I'm casting at four times level. That's not even a round number. What the heck? There's probably a bonus that's going on beyond that, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Okay. Yeah, so I'm doing 124 bonus. 124 divided by 4 is 31. So my effective dark magic skill at this point is 31. It's pretty awesome. 
Uh, let's go ahead and go into the temple. Actually, let's recast everything because I can. plus lots of stats. We definitely have enough might at this point. Uh, really 250, there's another bonus increase at 500 if I remember correctly, but uh, that's so far away. Slap <coughs> <coughs> mm. in my throat. So we're doing really well at this point. Um, our fake level of 90 is probably, we're probably acting more like a level 115 party right now. Uh, so the fake level of 90 is a decent indicator. We still need some better equipment. Like our hat situation's pretty bad. It's not terrible, it's just pretty bad. So we may end up wanting to do some more circus stuff to get more hats. Uh, weapons, our daggers could be better. We only have one good dagger and we are really lacking in artifacts right now. So yeah, we still need to waste a bit more time, which we're going to do. Um, we're probably going to go hunting in Dragon Sand because, to be honest, that's going to be our best bet for a while. Uh, for wasting time, because there's no other quests that we can do for time. So we've got the four council quests plus one more, or, or crystal quests plus one more that has to be done in the same dungeon. And we need to go to the Altar of the Moon tonight. So I don't want to go into one of the dungeons because I'm going to lose track of time. So next episode is probably going to be dragon hunting for a bit. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, let's go ahead and save. I'm gonna create this as a slightly different save. And the reason for that is that I don't trust being able to wait until midnight. I think we're okay, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, goodbye internet, and I will see you next time.